Hi guys, it's Amy Love from Real Food Whole Health. Today we're going to talk about soaking nuts and seeds to neutralize phytic acid and other anti-nutrients contained in them. So I'm starting with four bowls here. I've already added water to two of these, my cashews and my walnuts, and I've got almonds and Brazil nuts. So I'm going to show you how we go about soaking. So here's the big bowl of almonds. You want to use like a clear glass bowl and um, you know not a metal bowl and I'm going to pour in water enough to cover them um, by about an inch or so so I'm soaking a large amount here of almonds so it is going to take a bit of water um, but whatever size that you're soaking just cover it by about an inch so here I've already got some salt it's unrefined sea salt like Celtic sea salt or Redmond's real salt um, or Himalayan salt. And you just sprinkle that in about one to two tablespoons um, is what I'm using for this large amount here. And give it a stir and uh, make sure it's fully mixed. Okay. So now um, I'm going to do the same thing with the Brazil nuts. And again, you just want to add water to cover by about an inch and this is a much smaller um, dish of nuts and then I'm going to add the salt to this and you can soak without salt but salted water seems to work better um, and again I'm going to give this a stir alright so um, now what we want to do is I want to cover um, these. And I've got like a clean dish towel here. Um, it's actually like a flour sack towel. And I just want to cover this and of course you'd cover all of them. You can do one or two just to keep the bugs and the dust and things out. Um, and then of course in the morning, um, I usually let it soak 8 to 10 hours in the morning. I'm going to take it off and they'll be done. And um, then we will take a dehydrator tray. You can use a dehydrator or an oven, but here's a dehydrator tray, and it just has the mesh screen on it. Um, you can see it's like porous, and um, so I'm going to spread those out and then put it in my dehydrator and um, go until they're dry, somewhere around 12 hours, um, and I usually set it about 105 to 110, lower than 115 so that the enzymes are still intact. So um, these are just going to soak overnight, um, and we'll see you in the dehydrator in a minute. Okay, so here they all are loaded in the dehydrator. I've drained them in the morning, and they're loaded on trays. I have a mixed nut one and then each individual kind of nut. So we'll see you when they're done. Okay, so now you can tell on the dehydrator tray these are um, nuts that are done, and I've taken some and made nut butter as well. That's something that you can do just in your food processor or a blender or a Vitamix. And um, you can use a little coconut oil or something like that um, to make it blend easier if it needs to. Um, but it's a great inexpensive way to have healthy nut butter. So now I'm going to take this funnel and um, put my nuts in jars. I like to keep mine in the fridge in clear glass jars. So I'm just going to scoop these in and they'll be ready for snacking or grinding to use in recipes and the funnel does help get most of it in the jar but some do escape and the dogs sure love that. So anyway that's how you soak and dry nuts to neutralize phytic acid. Enjoy!